Right now, a woman gets ready to open her business. A farmer checks on his livestock. A baker takes out her first batch. In every part of the world, each day starts anew with their mission of bringing satisfaction and happiness through food. Each bread needed with love. Each meal handled with care. This noble undertaking is our passion to provide the best of ingredients and the best of breeds. By being your partner, we have the opportunity to feed the world. We are One Food Group. subsidiary of one of the top conglomerates in the Philippines, Aboitis Equity Ventures, with over a hundred years of advancing business and communities. We occupy a niche in its core businesses by being its integrated food and agribusiness company. Guided by our principles of guidance, consistency, and results, we are dedicated to partnering with our stakeholders to grow and scale their businesses. Above and beyond our quality products, we provide solutions and build partnerships for growth. As one of the industry leaders, we are relentless in our pursuit of excellence by acquiring capacities and capabilities to further expand our footprint across the Asia Pacific. Today, Pimiko and Gold Coin have a strong multinational presence. We have multiple research and production facilities all over the Asia Pacific. We take pride in continuously cultivating an agile and multicultural workforce that is driven by our values of integrity, teamwork, innovation, and responsibility. With these combined strengths, we are equipped to take a leadership position in innovating the food value chain. After a day of labor, Everyone deserves a bountiful harvest that will bring happiness in every gathering, in every order, and in every plate we come home to. Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome back to our um, Pilmico webinar, uh, webinar today, sorry. So good morning everyone. Um, welcome back to our every Wednesday live demo. Um, my name is Wilbert Wong, the bakery technician for Luzon of Pilmico Foods Corporation, the makers of Sun Moon Star Bread Flour and Wooden Spoon All-Purpose Flour. So today... We'll be making a Halloween special. It will be presented by no other than our technical services manager, Ma'am Carla. Um, she's a graduate of uh, UPLB. Um, she's uh, also our technical services manager. And uh, so next we go to the invocation. Loving Heavenly Father, we come to you this hour asking for your blessings and help us and help as we gather today uh, together. We pray for guidance in the matters that at hand and ask that you would clearly show us how to conduct our work 
with a spirit of joy and enthusiasm, give us the desire to find ways to excel in our work. So, yan. Hello, Ma'am Carla. Good morning. Yeah. Can you hear me? No. I, yeah, 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 I can now. Okay na nga yan. Okay. Yeah. Good morning po sa lahat. <laughs> Excited to do a demo for you. Matagal ako hindi nag-demo eh. So, um, am I uh, okay to go na, Bert? Yes po. Uh, look here po. <laughs> Mami. <laughs> Nag-start na po yung demo. <laughs> Sinabihan ko na yung mother ko kasi syempre nasa home setting po ako ngayon. And uh, uh, of course, dahil work from home most of the time, hindi na gamit namin yung home setting. Kaya makikita niyo po dumadaan na ng mother ko po yun. <laughs> okay, so I think uh, what I, what do I have for you? Ito, Berto. Nakita mo na aking, ang aking fingers. That one. Can you see my fingers? Yes. Yan. So this is the first... Uh, the cookie this fingers. This is the first yeah. of our Halloween. Um, so I made some designs that it's supposed to be, it should look like a witch's finger. No, so ayun. I think I have to start now because we have so much in store for you. And dami kong gagawin. So I think we have to start already mixing. Okay na? I go ahead, Bert. Okay. For the ingredients, sabi ko lang ha, para, I think it's not really... Hindi naman kalat, no? I wanted to just remove oh. the other things sa table because I want you to concentrate on the recipe. So, upo muna ako, no? Um, I have here the recipe for our witch finger. It's actually a basic brown cookie, no? but uh, we'll, we're just going to shape it into a finger, no? parang cut finger, so it will look, it will feel like Halloween. Okay, so what do I have? I have sugar, brown sugar, uh, butter, I have salt, egg, uh, the usual ingredient for a uh, cookie. And I have uh, cake flour. I have baking soda. And of course, our milk and our vanilla. So I'll start mixing na. Uh, I'm going to do creaming method pa rin. You can see me, no? I was thinking, baka napuputol yung ulo ko. So this one, lagay natin yung ating butter. My butter is already softened. Uh, the reason why I want it soft is I don't want it to rate, irate too much. Kaya soften yung ginagamit ko. If you want your, your cookie batter to get a good volume, you can start with a little bit. Iko cube nyo siya and yung butter mo medyo, may, uh, medyo matigas pa ng konti, no? Para you'll get better aeration. But me, since I don't want to really irate so much yung cookie batter natin, I'm going to use yung soft and talagang soft na yung butter, no? Konti na lang, medyo papunta na siya sa liquid state. So, I first, I placed yung ating um, butter and then the sugar. This is creaming method. So, pag creaming method po, ulitin ko ulit. If you're doing creaming method, you have to combine your butter and your sugar. But I also included yung salt because I find it uh, easier to mix yung salt pagkasama niya yung sugar and yung um, rather the butter, no? Para mas well incorporated siya. I'm going to use a flat beater kasi we don't, we are just, uh, we are targeting something na matigas-tigas na butter, a dough rather. So I have to make sure na ang gagamitin ko is something that can handle yung ating uh, mixing. So that's the flat beater. Okay. I'm just targeting na ma-incorporate lang ng maayos yung butter and sugar. So now, I'm going to get ready. Ito kasi nets natin, yung egg, no? After we mix the uh, butter and the fat and the salt, we will add in the eggs and the remaining ingredients we will alternately place in the bowl. So I'm going to combine now my milk and vanilla. So tanggal na ulit ang kalat. And then, I'm going to combine my flours. Uh, dalawa lang, no? Kasi it's actually around 2 cups. This is uh, 250 grams in total. So, it's a sift natin yan. I have approximately 2 cups. This is wooden spoon cake flour, ha? Magaling lang natin yung salad. 
because I find it nicer to work on pag hindi makalat yung table. This is the baking soda. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one is already mixed. Mag uh, scrape lang ako ng konti at the bottom to make sure na walang natitirang sugar na buo pa. Then I'm going to add the egg. This is 25 grams of egg, approximately half of one egg. On the recipe I gave you, yung pinos, actually the recipe was good for, was using one egg. Ah, sorry, this is half recipe nga pala, FYI ha. Kasi yung recipe natin is a uh, um, double of this, what I'm doing. So hinap ko siya, but uh, dun sa recipe, the original one says two eggs. I have the recipe, so it's supposed to be one egg. But I decided na I want to to lessen pa yung pag-erate niya because I want na lumabas talaga yung itsura ng finger. So I decided to cut the egg into half. So that's 25 grams instead of one piece na 50 grams. And then I'm going to add milk na lang instead. Since the milk will not really erate, but it will give you good flavor. So instead of adding water in sub substitute dun sa egg na tinanggal ko, I placed in fresh milk para mas masarap siya. So I'm now going to put my egg and then mix ulit tayo. Okay, I only need a slow speed lang ang kailangan ko. No, kasi I don't want to really aerate na. It's more on mixing lang. I, I'm just, I just want to mix the ingredients properly. No, para walang buo-buo. Okay. All right. For this recipe, I'm using cake flour. Bakit nga ba cake flour ang gamit ko? I'm not really looking into gluten development, so I don't need that. But I want the shorter bite ng cake flour, which is because of the lower protein content versus the bread flour and the all-purpose flour. But if you want to use the all-purpose flour, pwede po, no? Uh, but it's also okay to use cake flour on this one. You can also even use the third glass flour. It's my preference to use the cake flour for this recipe because I want the bite that you get using the cake flour. So ready na ako dito, ready na ako dyan. Lakasan ko na ng konti yung ating speed. And then, speak ba ng konti. Alright. So, I'll show you kung ano itsura niya before I add the other ingredients, ha? This one, no? Okay. Kita naman? I hope you can see it properly. Huwag lang mahulugin naman. <laughs> anyway. So, yan, no? Um, ingredient method, supposedly alternate natin sila. But since napaka-konti ng ingredient natin na liquid, no, it's it's really not that big of a problem kung directly natin lalagay. Plus, this is a cookie dough, so hindi natin na-add of yung fine texture that you get uh, with creaming method alternating the flour and the liquid, uh, the dry and the liquid. No, um, You don't need that really. So, pwede na natin ilagay yung ating egg. I rather the milk. Mix it. I'm going to put it back dito sa ating Mixer. I still am using low speed. Okay. Clean up lang ako ng konti at sa irin po yung mga liquid na yon kasama yung sa computation natin eh. Okay. Habang minimix ko yan, I just remembered I have to turn on the oven because my oven is quite big. Nasa six yung plancha na kaya niyang i-handle. So free heating will need more time. Actually, nilagay ko sa tabi ko to para maalala ko na I have to preheat it. So, low speed. Thank you, babe. Thank you.
tayo. Ma'am Carly, may question tayo. So, yung question is, ano daw yung difference ng baking powder sa baking soda? Yung baking powder actually is uh, a mixture of an acid and a base. No? Um, so, yung base natin can be baking soda as well, no? Ang tawag dyan. So, ang baking powder pwedeng may baking soda. Okay? Pero ang baking soda is uh, a base on its own. Okay? Ginagamit siya sa para mag uh, medyo mag-color yung ano ma mapunta to alkaline mag uh, magdarken yung ano natin yung whiteness ng flour natin dun sa buong mixture no kaya yun yung function niya now si baking powder naman kapag naghalo si bake si acid at si base tapos nabasa ng tubig ng either any liquid actually dun sa mixture nyo kukuha ng bubbles kaya doon siya, doon siya nagpapaalsa. Pero si baking soda, kung gusto nyo si baking soda puro, gagamitin ninyo, maglalagay ka pa ng any acid, like suka or any other. Pero huwag na natin paglaruan yun, no? Um, since may baking powder naman tayo, baking powder na gamitin natin. That's the difference between the two lang. Yung isa, ang function niya, it acts as a base na nagpa, nagpa, nagdadarken ng mixture natin, lalo na sa mga chocolate cake natin. Okay. Kaya minsan may nakita na ako mga recipe ng mga chocolate cake na may baking soda kahit walang baking powder. Okay? Yung yun yung dense type na yun yung dense type na ano natin, na baking na na chocolate cake. So, Ma'am Carla, can I talk to you? Yes. Uh, actually, yung kanina Bert, kasi you mentioned na parang uh, sometimes mayroong baking soda. For us here, baking soda talaga ang automatic na merong laman yung baking powder dito sa atin sa Philippines ha and i i don't know yet kung merong substitute si baking soda as the source of the carbon dioxide so yung binanggit ni Wilbert baking powder kasi is kumpleto na siya you have baking soda and then you have baking ah uh, you have baking soda and then you have the acid pag nagreact yung dalawang yon you get your air na makakakuha ka ng hangin. Or the carbon dioxide, right? It's the carbon dioxide na nare-release. Okay, now yung baking soda, pag baking soda lang, wala ka halo sa, I mean, um, pag baking soda ginamit mo, you will need an acid for it to react and provide yung carbon dioxide. Okay. Good. Yun yung explanation doon kung bakit, yun yung indifference ng dalawa, no? Mm-hmm. Tapos ma'am, may question na. Uh, margarine daw yung Yes po Pwede kayang Ah yes uh, I use margarine Right, oh, sorry um, Wait lang ha I think uh, Sorry po ha yeah, This recipe is a combination of I, hindi pala siya just cake flour. No? I just remembered it's a combination of um, cake flour and bread flour. And I think na pagbaliktad ko, nasa kabila yung aking flour. So that means I still lack a few, ano, oh, my mistake. This is supposedly the flour for this recipe. So let's compute na lang, ano. Troubleshooting tayo, so I'm going to teach you troubleshooting kasi. It's my mistake that I place in 250 grams of the cake flour. Whereas, ang kailangan natin is 200 grams of uh, cake flour and 200 grams of uh, bread flour. So, dahil nagkamali ako doon, I have to make up for it. So, anong pwede natin gawin? Sige nga, anong gagawin? Tingnan natin if, uh, if uh, we can think. <laughs> plus minus 250 grams yon so that means i have to add and sorry this is the other floor so i can tawag din baking is a continuous learning process ha kahit na yung ah uh, nabalik nagkamali ako ng lagay uh, over 20 so, years experience well, na to me ah guys sorry po ha actually uh, yung inaayos namin yung camera later so i think i missed up yo Nag, nagkabaliktad yung flour. So, I placed 250 grams. Remember half recipe to. 
supposedly 200 grams of cake flour and 200 grams of bread flour, which is salmon star bread flour. Uh, so that means ang total flour ko is 400 grams. Now I place in 250. So ibig sabihin, I will need 150 grams of bread flour. Okay. So ganun lang kadali mag-troubleshoot ng mga yan. Eventually, yep. puna natin yan, napaperfect na. Uh-uh. So mamaya, I have to change yung flour din na nilagay ko sa ano. So, okay. So I need 150 for the bread flour. Well, I'm going to change lang naman. Mas, tumata mas tumaas yung protein content niya, no? Okay. So pula ang aking lalagyan so that I won't forget that this is Sun Moon Star bread flour. Okay, pula eh. Okay, so I now have my 150 grams. I'm going to sift it and add it there. Okay. Yeah. So going back, ano nga ulit, we were talking about ano break, no? Baking soda. Yeah, baking soda. Yung purpose naman, for this one, my recipe formerly was using baking powder. But since gusto kong kahit paano matulungan yung coloring niya, and I don't really need much of the aeration, I use very minimal amount and baking soda ang ginamit ko. So that's also saying na um, if you adjust yung, yung acidity ng yung cake batter or the, for, on this case, I have a cookie dough. You can actually help with the coloring. Hindi siya masyadong puputla. Because I want a darker color. Okay. Turn on ulit tayo. Okay. So this part, binubuo na niya yung dough. Yun yung kung bakit nakita ko na, oops, may kulang. It's because hindi pa, hindi nahirapan yung mixer ko. No? Mahirapan kasi yung mixer on the latter stage kasi nabubuo na yung dough. Okay. Yan. I'm almost done. Uh, this one, I placed food color na brown and orange. So, magdadagdag din tayo na I want to use orange naman. So, this time, I want the orange color. So, konting mix na lang yan. Matatapos na siya. Yes, mabilis lang. Actually, ang, ang ano lang yan is just Import to make sure now well mixed yung ating flour. Okay. Okay. So, ngayon, alisin muna natin itong mga kalat na po. And I have to remind myself na kailangan ako magdagdag na ay mag-adjust din sa ating flour on the red velvet. Oh, getting ready. Yung do. Yeah. Mm. Actually, it's a cookie dough. Yes, it's a cookie dough. Mm. Yeah. Since I can't find support. my food color. For color lang si no. baking so. Uh -oh. uh, for, for ano lang, para hindi masyado mag-lighten yung color niya. Mm -hmm. I am actually checking my food color. Wait lang po ha. So, ayun. Okay, Bert, go, go. Can you check yung mga questions while I'm ano? Actually, I got it ready, pero... Pwede po ba? Mix up. So, 
medyo matigas yung cookie dough natin. Kamahin na lang to. I mean, I mean... Kung oh, ano raw? Kung pwede ba daw. For ano, ano ba? Um, Doon sa beating siguro nung, nung, nung creaming, nung butter, tsaka sugar, tsaka egg. Yes. Pero yung pag-blend mo ng harina, just use a spatula na lang. Medyo mas, ano na siya? Sorry, may netita. Ang tawag dyan, Again, so, g- again Bert, spatula. ano yung question ulit niya? Nag, nag-cha-choppy ka kasi. Hand, hand ba- mix. A hand mixer. No. Well, on the first part, pwede ka mag-hand mixer. Yeah. If you want yung yung portion na nagme-mix ka nung nagki-cream ka ng uh, ng ano tawag doon ng butter, sugar and the salt on that part hanggang doon sa egg portion and milk pwede no okay this one i can actually still help us uh, get the help of my mixer okay so you're still checking um hindi ko nakita agad yung aking food color so I was not able to add in agad yung you, aking no but you can actually put the you can actually put the food color on the milk para mas madali but since I couldn't find my food color kaya medyo na delay mixing anyway while I'm having the color mix okay ang purpose na lang dito humalo lang yung color niya I miss placing it on the milk. Anyway, so... Ayun. Let's go back to question while I'm doing this. So, kanina yung nagtanong ulit, mabalikan ko yung portion na nagtanong, if you're going to use hand mixer, where there on the first portion, but when you're adding, and you add a little bit of the flour, pero pag banda dulo na, it's kind of hard to really uh, mix using the hand mixer. Baka masira po. So, kamay na. Manual hand mixing na kayo pag gaganan. Where do you do it? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. So, ayun. Pero yung po doon sa akin. Yung recipe natin. And meron din doon sa chat natin. Naka-pin doon sa chat natin yung uh, recipe natin. So, for any questions, um, padala nyo lang po sa chat natin, ha? Ayun. So, okay. ano po sa, uh, ano, shout out sa ating computer. Hello! Hello, Sir Peter! Thank you. You're watching with me. At saka yung mga sa Batangas. Yung mga friendship ko dyan, I often go in Batangas lately. Which, uh, sana yung mga friendship natin bakery dyan, if you want me to visit, I'll see, no, kung makabisita ako. I really want to see more of the bakeries in Batangas. Okay, so I'm still mixing my dough. Pero para hindi ako masayangan ng oras, while I'm doing this, I have to prepare yung ating... I-prepare ko lang yung red velvet cupcake because I'm, it's taking too much of my time. Baka mamaya hindi matapos lahat ng gagawin natin. So, I'm going to start uh, with my ingredients. I-prepare ko na yung aking flour. No? Kasi remember, I have 200 grams here. So, I have to add 50 grams more. Kasi 250 no, grams yung kailangan natin. Classic. Sorry? Anong what? Ano yung ano? Uh, food color daw po na ginamit ninyo. Uh, right now, kasi hindi ko makita yung, yung ano ko. Uh, gel po ba? Uh, I use, gel type, ano, food color it's ginamit. gel type. Uh, uh, gel type siya. Sorry, nagdag ko na dito. Gel type. I think hindi naman yata masama to, to say the ano, no. I oh, use Chef Master. Uh-huh. Alright. So that's gel type yung ginamit ko. Uh, pag liquid yung ginamit niya and you think you, you have to use a lot of the liquid, then better na ibawas you doon sa total, like you have milk on the recipe. So, kailangan bawasan mo yung milk mo kung gagamit ka ng food color na masyadong maano, uh, masyadong maraming liquid. So, yung iba kasi, 
it's quite good. Kaya niya ng konti lang yung amount ng gel. Okay na, nung maganda na yung color. So, if you you have the food color na hindi masyadong matapang ang, ano niya, ang coloring, and you have to add more para lumabas yung darker shade na hinahabol mo, then you will reduce the amount of milk. Or what you can do, you can add also more of the flour. Mas okay yun. Marami ka rin, kami ari na magbenta. Okay. So, yan. I have this. I now have my dough ready. Pwede na ako mag-shift dun sa aking red velvet in a while. Okay. So, eto yung itsura ng dough, no? Yan. This is actually lighter than yung target ko. But uh, still, it's okay. Mistisa na lang ng konti. <laughs> uh, itong color na to, if you see the color, it's tie brown. <laughs> Tama ba yun? <laughs> <We're tamo. laughs> Look at that. So, this brown color will still lighten. No? Mag-lighten yung color niya pag na-bake. So, initially, the color of this one is much darker. I'll show you the dough, the first dough that I made. Later. So, ito, tabi ko lang muna. No? Because I'm going to prepare yung ating red velvet. I have to start mixing na yung ating red velvet. Okay. Remove muna ang palak. And I have to clean this up. Since, since yung first dough ko, since the first dough is a uh, so, habang nagpe-prepare cookie batter naman, uh, yes. O nga pala, nakapin yung recipe. Medyo choppy ka, Bert. Medyo choppy ka. Uh, actually, I can't hear you now already. I already can't hear you. Okay. Sige. Nakapin I'll get the ingredients ready. Nakapin yung recipe natin. Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay na, Bert. I can hear you na. Uh, delayed ba? Medyo na-delay ba dyan? I can hear you na. Uh, mukhang na, mukhang na-disconnect si Wilbert. Okay. I'll uh, get my ingredients ready. Okay. This is also, again, creaming method. A lid. It's quite heavy. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Sabi natin. Later ulit yung ating finger. Okay. So, this is again creaming method ulit, no? So, pag creaming method, you have the sugar and the butter together. But this time, I have oil in my recipe. I'm going to also include it here on the fat part. And I also have salt. So, dito siya. Pag-combine ko rin yan. And then, egg. Pagkatapos nun, again, all dry and all liquid will be combined. So, I have this for the dry ingredients. I have flour. Wooden spoon cake flour. And I have milk. Milk and vanilla for my liquid. And then, finally, yung ating tatak ng red velvet, you have the combination of baking soda and the vinegar. Okay. So, start na tayo. Start na tayo mag-mix ng ating red velvet. First, again, I have my butter. So, yung butter ko is buo. Actually, buo siya pero malambot na. Again, I'll add my sugar. White sugar yung i-add ko ngayon. And then, oops, meron magdirang sugar. So, I have sugar and yung salt. 
Hello, oh, narinig ko na si Wilbert. Welcome back! <laughs> Sabi ko na mo, di-disconnect ka kanina. Anyway, uh, right now, Bert, I'm already, I went to doing the red velvet. Okay. So, oil is here also. Ano na oil. Remove kalat. Remove kalat. Okay, and then, put in yung paddle natin. Okay, low speed tayo. So, while mixing, I'm going to tip the flour. So, kukombine ko ulit ang uh, ating, I have my, uh -huh. okay, I have my flour here. Kasama to dun sa flour ha. Sobrang puno lang kasi kanina. So I transferred the remaining on another bowl. So I have to include also the cocoa powder. Yeah. So this is wooden spoon cake flour and cocoa powder. I have to thank ano nga pala, Sondi. This is actually Ben's Dorp. Thank you po for providing, for giving us samples to test. So thank you for supporting us. Um... Para naman dun sa flavoring, I have, uh, Bakersfield gave me samples, so I used it today. Huh. So I use the vanilla flavor of Bakersfield po. No, FYI lang. And I want to thank them as well. Okay. Sip. And then I have to check kung okay na ba yung aking cream na butter and sugar. Straight ko lang ng konti to make sure na walang natirang sugar at the bottom. And well distributed na yung ating other ingredients. So again, inside is our butter, oil, sugar, and salt. Red velvet na po tayo, ha? Yung mismong recipe na na-provide, ito mismo yon. So it's not half recipe, it's one recipe na po. I did not uh, do half. And this recipe is good for 24 pieces ng ating red velvet cupcakes. Okay, so done with this thing. Okay. Ready na. I'm going to put in vanilla here. So, ayun na, nakita nyo na ito ni Ma'am Carla yung Tinutunan ni Ma'am Carla na husto yung sugars kasi kapag hindi natunan yung sugars ng husto, nagsusoy yun lang sa top, sa top ng baked product, nagkakaroon ng puti-puti. So, yes. So, important yes. na tunan lahat ng sugars din yun. So, Ma'am Carla, ano na yung ilagay mo? Mm -hmm. I'm, I've already done yung mixing yung ating flour, ay, sorry, the, the sugar, the salt, the butter, and the oil. So, ito na yung sura niya. And now, I'm going to add in yung ating egg. Lagay na natin yung egg. At syempre, alisin natin yung cover. As you can see, naglalagay ako ng cover pagka in-open ko na yung egg. So, if I already open the egg, I have to cover it para hindi mag-dry yung ibabaw. Pag nag-dry po kasi, nagkakaroon ng crust-crust yung egg and pumapangit yung texture ng ating hinahalo. Magkakaroon ka ng buo-buo. So, it's better to keep it covered. So, ayan. I'm now mixing at low speed lang din muna. Because I just want to incorporate the egg. And then, I'm now going to put in my food color. Approximately one, ano to? One half teaspoon. Yan. Kasi dati, I really put a lot. I really put a lot of the food color. And medyo, nakukonsensya din naman ako. Health-wise, yung mga kakain, masyado marami nilagay ko food color. So, I decided to lessen it. So, for those na walang konsensya, <laughs> hindi naman sa walang konsensya, for those who really want the, the really red-red color, then you can put more. I'm using, right now, I'm using this type, and then it's red-red, no? para talagang strong in red color. Niya. Okay. So, minahalo ko lang mabuti because I'm going to alternate this two 
pagka-incorporated na yung ating egg. Okay, scrape down lang ako just to make sure na walang natitira sa bottom. I'm using the paddle na mismo para hindi na maraming hugasin. No? Okay, so I can increase the speed. Konting alsa lang. So, make extra things ulit. So, eto na yung natira, no? I now have my liquid. And I have now have my dry ingredients. The dry ingredients is it, uh, flour and cocoa powder. Hindi dito nilagay yung baking soda nandito. It will be the last uh, stage ng mixing natin. Okay. Smooth naman na yung egg natin. Well mixed na rin. So I can start alternating. So it will be dry, liquid, dry, liquid, dry. So we will divide our dry into three parts. So, first part muna. Lagay muna tayo ng first. Yung ating one-third nung flour. Okay. At dahil medyo mabilis yung low speed ng mixer ko, binabababa ko siya. Okay. Para hindi tumasik masyado. Yan. So, ang target ko lang is just to incorporate the flour. Yung... Maganda na yung halo na, not really targeting na smooth siya. It's more on maganda na, humalo na yung flour. Then I can already put in my half of the liquid. At maliit yung aking. So, I'm going to use this one. I can put it on low speed while adding the liquid. Yeah. Since mag-alternate lang naman tayo, are there any questions, Bert? At nawala si Wilbert. <laughs> so, ayan lang. Um, yung ah, ayan. Eight, Here you are. Running in. Hindi, nandito ako. Okay. Medyo delayed ka, Bert, ha? Um, Actually, around I mean, a few naka seconds. Naka-post yung recipes natin dun sa chat, ha? Naka-pin dun sa running as well uh -huh. dun sa picker natin sa baba. From time to time. Okay. I'm so, done with half um, of the liquid. Nade-delay yata. Oh. <laughs> delayed. Medyo delayed yata. No? Kasi napapansin ko yung answer mo sa question ko is about ano na eh. Mga a few seconds. Okay, so I'm placing yung another third ng size ng, sorry Bert, can you repeat that? Size ng eggs po, size ng egg. Medium egg. size, so that's 50 grams. Size ng eggs po. Oh, that's 50 grams eggs. Hindi kasama siya la? Ah, hindi kasama siya, 50 grams. That's around medium size ito sa atin. I think yung sabi mo, uh, um, abroad, that's large na, no? Pag sa abroad. Bakit ganun? Hey, wala. Mas malaki yata yung yes. itlog ng Pilipinas pagka sa egg size. Think, Siguro kasi sa atin. Tayo yung agri country, eh. Tayo yung agricultural country. Siguro. Mas maraming itlog okay. dito, eh, no? So maybe that's the reason why. Okay. So loose food left. Lagay ko na yung liquid natin. Yung... Yan. Sige, Bert. Do you have questions? Sige, kaya rin ako. Medyo nag... Alright. Okay, Ilang eggs? Ilang so, eggs po is ano? May nakita ko. Oo, from Rolly Chris Lozano. Ilang eggs, that's two pieces of eggs po yung nilagay ko. Two pieces ng eggs. Kasi 100 grams. And one piece ng egg is 50 grams. So, kaya ang dinagdag ko is two pieces ng eggs. Okay. Ito na tayo sa huling portion. But I'll let it mix ng konti pa. Malapit na kasi ako sa dulo. So I wanted to maganda yung halo niya. Okay. Finally, the last third of my flour, 
I'm going to put in. Okay. I hope na nandiyan si ano ha, si Lester Jolly. I hope na nandiyan si Sir Jolly, si Sir uh, Larry. I hope you are there also and Ma'am Gir Ma Girly. Hilda pala, sorry. <laughs> Naging girly si Ma'am ano, si Ma'am Hilda. These are some of my bakery friends. Yan. Um, yung team namin ni Weber, so while I'm mixing, I just have to give a little bit of a backgrounder. Our team is the one who handles the end users or the clients who use Clinico flowers. So, pagka po gumagamit talaga kayo ng Clinico flower, it's part of our service. So it's part of our job to help you. So, kung may problem kayo about our flowers, uh, you can ask us no, yung question. Even if, if quality issues, we can also we also handle them. No? Although usually talaga yung, uh, yung quality issues, it's more on application lang pala. No? Uh, but anyway, so Sir Wilbert is uh, the one handling the Luzon. Kaya yung mga friends namin dyan, Wilbert helps them on the recipe development. Siyempre yun yung added service namin. If you're using our flour, no, um, we are going to help you no, uh, develop your business better. So, yun yung trabaho namin. We help you. Siyempre, if we help you at lumaki yung business, no, you're, we will also help us with our sales ng car. So, yun yun kung bakit we are also doing our best to help. Kaya, partners for growth yung tawag po namin. Yun yung ating ginagamit. No? We want to be partners for your growth. Okay. Last mixing na lang. Okay. And then, oh, sumabit. Ito na po, yung baking soda and the vinegar. So before I add it in, halo lang natin muna. And then, lagay na natin dito sa ating red velvet cake batter. Okay. Mix na natin. Final mixing. Ready na natin Robert, yung ating... Okay. Ito na. Yung aking... This is good for 24 pieces. Exactly 24 pieces. Kaya, madali kayo makakapag-compute ng costing ninyo. No? Okay. Kagamit ako nito para sure na pantay yung ating red velvet. Okay. I'm done mixing. Mahati na natin yung ating cake batter. Do you have more questions for me? Feeling ko, naubusan na ng question niya sa mga tao, ha? Kasi everyday may mga nagde-demo. Watch out, ha? We will have, uh, we will be launching yung lectures natin for those na asking us na kung meron kaming training, since hindi kami no. makakagawa ng face-to-face, -face, we are working on, we are working on giving you some lectures or some tips, techniques on how to do your Cakes and breads. So, Gebert, you can you can give me ano, questions while I'm portioning yung aking cupcake. Aha, uh -huh. Bert, are you still there? No card. Yes, game. Yes, po. Ma'am, ilang ounces daw po yung uh, cupcake nyo? Liner? Uh, ang liner, 3 ounces. 3. Ma'am, parang ilang ounces daw po yan? 3 po. 3. Yes. Uh -huh. Aha. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. I can hear you. Loud and clear. May delay no. lang tayo. <laughs> uh, Ma'am, ano? 
Ilang ounces daw po yan? Size, I just ilong heard size you. Ilong ng cupcake. I heard you, Bert. And I actually, I answered three times yeah. already. Tapos, Feeling ko, uh, ano, no? Uh, yes. Next question. Yes, go ahead. Okay, next question, pwede? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Ma'am, um... Okay. Ang tawag dyan. Ma'am, yung... Um, bakit daw kailangan... I- bakit daw kailangan ihuli yung baking soda and vinegar? Actually, I really tried. Uh, honestly, yung unang kasi, medyo kasi nga technical ako. Sabi ko, why are they putting it on the last stage? And I tried putting it in the middle. Alam mo, it, ano, uh, mas better talagang nasa dulo siya. Honestly, I can't explain right now. I can't explain why. No, I, I still am thinking why. But, uh, yung baking soda siguro yung kasi vinegar, hindi tayo yeah, umulit-ulit yung question. Wait, I think you don't have to repeat yung question kasi I'm hearing you. Delay lang tayo. So, delay lang tayo. So, maybe nade-delay lang din ang dating dyan ng sagot ko. So, once you ask a question, you can just do it once. Kasi naririnig ko siya. Nade-delay lang yung dating dyan ng sagot ko. So, anyway... The baking soda and the baking, uh, bake, the vinegar supposedly is kaya dulo pinagsasama kasi it will react sooner. No, but uh, the question then then is since nagreact na siya, it really won't be giving so much of the volume. Kaya dati I adjusted it. I placed uh, the I think I added the vinegar together with the milk and the other liquid ingredients. No, but you know what? Nagkaran siya ng effect on the ano, on my uh, cupcake. So I decided to continue uh, doing that. Yung recipe na pinagbase ko, I cup, I continued doing yung baking soda and uh, vinegar on the last stage. No, it does well. I think I have to research more on that. Honestly, hahanapin ko pa what's the reason. When I change yung when I change the procedure, kasi nga sabi ko nagiging useless yung kung gagawin natin siya as source ng volume, kasi nga yung combine an acid and baking soda. Rem- remember kanina pinag-usapan natin yung baking powder. The baking powder is baking soda and acid. So right now para tayong gumawa ng baking powder. But the thing is nag-react na siya, kaya medyo questionable din sa akin. But so far it works. No, parang yung mga iba natin na parang there's a question on the procedure but it works so let's continue doing it muna. There must be a plausible explanation for that. So, okay. And then, as you can see, I hope you can see the matter. It's exactly 24 pieces. So, that's there. Okay. So, I'm going to bake this. At uh, 30 to 35 minutes, no? uh, this is using my oven. And the oven ko, uh, I used around 160 last night. So, yung baking time ko is naging 35, 35 minutes. Okay. Go, Bert, do you have a question? Hmm. Bert, do you have a question? Oh, nawala ulit si Bert. <laughs> okay, apologies kung nagpawala-wala ako ha. Because I am at home. We don't have assistance here. And it's part of our work from home. State? Status? Wala kang may tutulong na? 
maghugas-hugas. So kami-kami lang din. And I even asked my family to help with this. Okay, let's proceed. Wala si Bert, so I'll just continue with my presentation, with my demo. I'm going to shift now dun sa ating yeah, fingers. Okay. I'll just check with the oven again. It's done. So my... Uh, Medyo mataas yung temp ng oven ko a while ago. So, hinayang ko bumaba ng konti. Okay, let's now continue with our... Eto na. Dito na tayo sa which fingers natin. Okay. Ayan na ulit, Bert. Hi. Oo, oh, oh, hi again. <laughs> Mukhang marami ka talagang kasabay na nag internet dyan, no? Okay. I'm already on my witch fingers. So, I'm going to use yeah. this one to portion then my my cookies. For preheating? Yun ang hindi ko na rin, hindi ko na intindihan yung question bird. So that this time please repeat. I'm using my bare hands right now ha huh? because I tried using my I have this. I have this. Unfortunately, it's quite difficult to use. I mean, hindi ko nararamdaman. So I decided um, to use my hands directly. Oven for Temp ng oven is one I used one six uh, one sixty to one seventy for today. Usually I do one eighty, but for today I'm going to use one seventy. Okay, so ayan na, may mahaba na, no? Approximately nasa around thirty grams to twenty to thirty grams, and the half recipe I did today will give you around twenty four pieces. Then, talagang Ano tayo, no? Two dozen tayo today. Okay, I have, I am going to use, we don't really need a special tool to get that finger. No, I'm just using my spoon, the stem, yung dulo na to. Ang hinahanap ko, should, gusto ko yung maganda yung pagkaka-curve niya sa dulo. And kahit paano, dapat medyo malalim. One time I used spoon na talagang naka-protrude yung side, mas maganda pa yung lumabas. So I'm going to show you. Siguro sa malayo muna. I hope you can see. Okay. So in elongate ko siya. This is around 20 to 30 grams and then on one side, ipo-push ko yung akin yung spoon stem. Yan. So pinush ko siya nang ganun and then pinipinch ko pa loob para magkaroon ng parang kanal on the side. Okay, I think. And then, ipipinch ko siya to get that elongated look. So, I hope you can see well. Can you see? Nakikita pa? Where can you see? Anyway, so ganyan siya, no? Medyo elongated, para medyo... Ano ang dating? Witchy or monster yung dating. Monster yung type. So, okay. That's one. And then, I'm going to use either the spoon or uh, another thing na medyo uh, parang, uh, ano ba to? Pang, ano natin na? We will put creases on it. Kasi yung finger natin has this. So, I'm doing three creases. Creases ba ang proper term na? And then, tatlo ulit about a third of the way on the other side. So, I have here, lalapit ako para kita. I hope you can see well. Ito siya, no? I hope you can see. Can you see clearly? 
Ano yung ulitin ko rin naman siya. So, I have one down. So, ang ginagawa ko, medyo thin yung pagkaka, pagkaka-shape ko ng finger kasi pag na-bake siya, it will be, it will be, ano, thicker. Mas mataba yung magiging finger. So, I have this example. Yan. So, tataba siya ng konti. So, so I have one down. I'll show you three pieces. Okay. So, para mas madali siyang i-mold, ang ginagawa ko, I squeeze it with my, ano, with my hand. I squeeze it up and then roll. Okay. So, this dough, actually, pwede mo nang i-work agad immediately after mixing. So, pwede mo na siya, lalo na kung marami kang gagawin. You can mix it up and then already start shaping it. So, again, isa ko yung dulo using the, the spoon stem. And then, pinch it up para medyo patusok yung dulo niya. Alright, so that's the second one. Hmm, I prefer the other one. So, I'll make another one para mas maganda. Okay, three pieces ulit. Yeah. Pag nagkaroon ako ng time, I want to do yung parang may design mismo yung kuko niya. No? <laughs> Ayun, thank you si Beata Alipalo. Binabasa ko kasi wala si Bert, so I just have to, ano, creepy ba, Jem? Hi, Jem, masag pa. Masag ka. Juliet Magapan. Chef, ano pong size ng scooper? Thank you. Um, ano size ko? I think one ounce to. One ounce scooper. Uh, I hope I am right, no? Ito yung usual na scooper natin, eh. I think ito mismo yung scooper ng usual na ice cream. So, one ounce, I think this is one ounce. I hope so. <laughs> Wait, ha? Huh? Yeah, it's a little more than one tables po tayo. I hope no. Sana may magsagot din just in case mali yung nasabi ko. No? Uh, halos, siguro around one and a half, one and a half piece tablespoon siya. So is that correct? I hope I, I, I hope it's really one ounce. If I remember correctly, one ounce siya. Okay. Ayan. Hello, Lino. Saka, I'm checking then. 160 to 170 yung ginagamit no? Kasi, honestly, di ba nag-move yung temp ng oven? Sometimes, sabi na ko, ano, but I was targeting 170. Pero nag-move siya, bumababa ng konti sometimes. So, 160 to 170 yung range niya. Okay. Pinch ulit. I'd rather push. Using the spoon and then pinch on the side. Then pinch dun sa papunta sa dulo para maging creepy siya. Kasi nga, ang target natin, makagawa ng creepy. Kung usually gusto natin maganda at kaaya-aya yung itsura, today, ang target natin ay pangit yung itsura niya. So I now have three fingers. I think I'll just uh, continue with my other things, no? Kasi... It's almost one hour and I have to be able to finish my other thing. So, ito na yung ating witch fingers. I'm going to bake it for 30, 30 minutes. Okay. No need to put any grease on the pan. Kasi madali na siyang tanggalin. Okay. Parang free lang yan because we need time for the other things. Uh -huh. Okay, I have to tago na natin yung mga unneeded. I can do the rest later. Huh? Okay. I'm going to show you the cupcakes that I did yesterday. So, ito na po yung red velvet cupcakes. As you can see, uh, no, sakto lang siya. 
nag, nag-practice ako ng a few pieces kaya kulang itong isang pan. But that's 24 pieces talaga. Okay. I covered it up. Yan. O, tignan natin na. See? Perfect, no? Ang ganda pati nung pagkakapantay niya on the top. Talagang ganyan yung mag-bake natin later on. Okay. So, I'm going to continue with decorating. Mag-mix na ako ng aking cream. Today, I'm going to use uh, non-dairy whipping cream. Bert, are you there? Nandiyan ka na ulit? Hello, ma'am. Ayan. Uh, Bert, can you, can you answer some questions for me, please? While I'm preparing for the ano, whipping cream. Check. Okay. Checking for questions now, ma'am. Uh, so, wait. Baka daw pwede next time lagyan ng ano. Baka pwede yeah. next time lagyan ng uh, kulay red na feeling sa gitna para creepy daw talaga. <laughs> Actually, Baka pwede daw pa, pwede no? next time lagyan ng red na feeling sa gitna <laughs> para creepy. Last, I wanted to, ano, I wanted to add yung pwede gusto pa. ko yung medyo parang nail polish yung style strawberry na jam. design pa. <laughs> Oh, pwede. Why not? Mm -hmm. no? That's a good idea as well. Okay, yung yema. Okay. Gawin nilang pula. <laughs> Para kadiin Actually, talaga. Kasi, ng, ano. kasi which finger siya, I was thinking na, ano, na parang may sing-sing. Kasi di ba yung mga witch may mga sing-sing lang. Eh? But, <laughs> parang interesting. May sing-sing, you know, or kikai type. Hindi na witch finger. Pwede naman na, ano, kikai finger. Mm -hmm. uh, kikai na witch. Ng nail polish. <laughs> kikai witch. Okay. So, ayan. Ready na ito. Walang, walang masama doon. Tapos, um, may, may specific size ba daw si, ano, si witch finger? Di ba, gamamit ka ng Gumamit ka ba na ano kanina? Weighing scale, ma'am, no? 30 grams? Yeah. yeah. Um, hindi ako nag-weighing scale, but I use yung scooper na one ounce. But I weighed it that's around 20 to 30 okay. grams nung nag-check ako yesterday. So I'm going to, today I'm going to use ambiente. Uh, and I'm going to whip it. Hanggang maging smooth lang siya. Okay. Alright, I'm going to use medium speed. Okay. Tap. Tapos na may sa lahat ng post yung mga magtatry ng recipe ya. Oh nga. I hope you, you will try the recipe. Magawa kayo ng witch finger. Interesting to look at it. <laughs> Limited space. Okay. Maging natin yung ating cupcake here. Para naman maganda sa Ma'am, pa-shout pa -shout out lang ako. Yes, please. Go ahead. Shout out ako sa mga may birthday today. Happy si, birthday ano, to Ma'am Annette. Birthday saka today. si Mac Atanasio. Happy birthday. Hi! Happy birthday, Mac! Saan ni Annette? Ayun. Tapos... Uh, yes? Si Ma'am Annette. Annette Cortez, Ma'am. You know her. Oo. Mm -mm. uh -oh. Yes, saka si, of course. Hindi ko malilimutan niya. Maganda. Si Ma'am Beautiful. <laughs> Nagde-delay talaga ako. Anyway... Ang tawag dyan, um, mm -hmm. remind ko lang everyone na uh, we we have a channel on, ano? Oo. Ang tawag dyan, um, we have a YouTube channel, yung Filmico Bakers. Please check out our videos there. 
Kahit yung mga previous na live demos natin, nandun po. So you can watch them there. Ma'am Lizelle just came in. She's watching. Hello, Ms. Lizelle. Yan. Okay. Nire-ready ko na rin yung mga gagamitin ko for decorating. So, I'm checking yeah. lang kasi pag nasusobrahan, baka hindi na smooth yung whipping cream ko. Okay, just about right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so whipping cream yung gagamitin ko ngayon. Ang, ang advantage ng whipping cream is you can decorate immediately, you know? but uh, if you want it to be done beforehand, mga klaseng, uh, you need to prepare it earlier on, I suggest you put yung topping on the day that you will serve it. You know? So kung imag po prepare ka, mas better na yung topping mo will be added on the day na isa-serve mo na yung uh, cupcakes kasi may tendency mag mag change yung decoration magkakaroon ng transfer ng colors so, lalo na ito medyo makulay yung target natin so dapat gagawin mo na siya on the day so I have two quite large Ayan, ito lang ha. Parang, okay. kailangan smooth yung aking mata. Parang medyo na overmix ko yata. Yun lang. Dapat kasi mabilis lang yung mixing ko. Hmm. I'll adjust a little bit ha. Let's adjust Ma'am a little Carl, bit. Ma'am uh, Carl, yes, question po. daw po, hindi po ba daw lalagyan ng sugar yung... Uh, yung whipping cream See? natin. This one no need na. Kasi ano siya eh. Yung whipping cream na to, matamis na. So you don't really need to add more sugar. Masyado nang tatamis. Okay. I'm going to remix this a little bit para mag-soften ng konti, konti yung aking ano. Yung aking pinapipe. So no need ah. Yung ibang cream, I think you will need kasi mat, uh, hindi matamis. So this one you don't need. But uh, you know what? Adding sugar, siguro minimal lang yung i-add mong sugar kasi matamis po yung ating uh, red velvet na cupcake. So kung susobrahan mo yung tamis, baka maumay naman yung kakain. Baka maging Halloween na talaga. <laughs> baka, baka sumama na siya dito Halloween. So better na minimal lang yung ano natin, sugar. So, FYI, this cupcake is a bit sweet. So, ano tayo? I think I'm going to decorate a few pieces lang. Para enough lang sa schedule natin. I'm almost done, ha? Sinidecorate ko na lang ito. Hmm. So, open ko lang ng konti yung ating cream. Kasi gusto ko yung mukha talagang ice, yung eyeball, mal- uh, smooth. Mm-hmm. Okay. But are you still there? And then pass it, But I think may zona de delay talaga yung ano ni Bert. So. Can you hear me, Bert? Yes, po. Ah, okay. So, run through ko lang, ha? Ah, hindi. Maybe I have to discuss pala yung mata. I prepared ice kasi. Yes, po. And yung ice na ginamit ko is actually made from fondant. But, uh, I yeah, use ready ano fondant. So, eto yung mata. Ah, for the whipping cream, I added milk. Nagdagdag ako ng milk to soften a bit kasi medyo stiff. So, I want na yung cupcake. I want the eyeball look. So, 
Gusto ko magmukha siyang mata. Kaya, nagdagdag ako ng liquid to, to make it smoother. Milk yun, milk. Yes, that's milk. Fresh milk po. Okay. Try natin. I hope it's smooth now. Yes, better na. So, pipe on. Smooth eyes. Okay. Pwede na ako maglagay ngayon ng mat ng ating blue eye. So, I prepared this beforehand. This is fondant. You can do fondant, you can do gum paste. It's okay. Lagay natin on top. Eyeball number one. Two. Mm-hmm. Yan. Okay. Malapit na. I hope you're enjoying this session, ha? Medyo decorating tayo. Less. Mm -hmm. Maraming decorating ngayon. Ako nga pala, when I was doing yung mata na to, uh, last night, I made sure na very, very stiff yung fondant. So, I added a lot of powdered sugar. Kasi pagka hindi mo ginawang very stiff, mahirap siyang, mahirap i-cut out. Pag kinat out mo siya, madaling ma-deform. So, para ma-maintain niya yung mata, yung shape niya na round, it has to be very stiff bago mo i-cut out. And down on my last eye, itong eyeball ni Isa, mas maliliit, no? I decided to do dalawang mata just in case. Just in case mapalaki yung pipe ko or mapaliit, I have good enough na size ng eye. So, ayan na yung mata. Ayan, isusimula na siya maging creepy-creepy. Let's now put in yung ating red, ano, para bloodshot. Bloodshot eyes bang tawag doon? Yeah. Okay. So let's put in. I use royal icing. So this is powdered sugar and ano, powdered sugar and egg whites. I'll post in the recipe, Mama. Ya, ng royal icing. Okay. Yan. Okay. Um, Ma'am Carla, shout out daw, Miss Cecil yes, Duca. Hello, Miss Cecil. Ah, Ma'am. <laughs> yeah. Hello po, kumusta kayo? Tagal na natin hindi nakapunta. Layo. <laughs> yeah. But this was actually done there. So, ginawa natin uh -oh. sa doon. During the I, event by Miss Cecil. <laughs> and I hope na they're Thank safe you for attending sa, po. Sa Bicol. I, I hope they're very, very safe ngayon dyan sa Bicol. After the onslaught of the typhoon yesterday. Oh, malakas ba ang ano, typhoon sa, sa Bicol? Na, sa yeah, kanila ba? May, may mga... Sa kanila ang bumagsak. Sa kanila yung, yung ano, concentration. Yung mata. <laughs> Kala ko yung, yung mata. Mata pinag-uusapan. So, tama-tama mata din siya. So, yung mata ng bagyo. Yeah. Okay. Dito pwede naman ako sa kabila. Pwede chocolate for the okay. eyes, ma'am? Yes, pwede po. Although, medyo challenging kasi pag chocolate yung ginamit mo for the eyes. Ano? 
pwede kang gumamit ng, pwede ice na, ano ah, kasi buong it, uh, this is the whole eye. Yung chocolate, pwede rin ito na chocolate if you want, kasi uh, kailangan mo lang ipainit yung chocolate, not too hot, kasi pag mainit yung, kung chocolate yung gagamitin mong red ha, kung white mm -hmm. chocolate yun, colored with red, uh, dapat hindi mainit. Ha? Kasi baka mamaya masyadong mainit, malulusaw yung ating whipping cream. Mm. One time, I was tempted to use ano, marshmallow kasi maganda. Ang advantage ng marshmallow is nakaset na siya bagong pa i-decorate. So, maybe one time, I'll do marshmallow for this one kasi at least patong ka na lang ng patong. Marshmallow is a uh, Syrup and gelatin. So that's sugar mm -hmm. na pinakuluan. It's just doing like boiled icing, but you're going to mix in on the gelatin. Ganun ang, ano, ang marshmallow. Okay. Yan. So I'm just gonna do ito na lang. And then, pakita ko na yung finished product natin. Nilisan ko na lang din yung decoration ko. But I hope it's still uh, nice to look at. Okay, may questions pa ba? After this, pwede na tayo magkwentuhan ulit. Although nagkukwentuhan naman tayo. Yan! Walang I masyadong questions. Have... 12 eyeballs. Wala masyadong question kasi wala na masyadong technical dito. No, it's more on like art lang talaga din. No? It's more on art. So yung for the yan, done na ako. I think ilalagay ko at the front yung mga nice to look at. Okay. Ta-da! There. I'll take photos. Mm. Ayan na. The eyeballs. Okay. And then you have the cookies. Yeah, ang ganda ng fingers. Yes, ito yung mga matataba. I decided to do yung mataba ang fingers din. Mm. No? Pwede siguro okay. lagyan ng kulay black na vermicelli yan, ma'am, no? Para kunwari may finger hair, hairs. Ah, pwede rin, no? Mm. Actually, gusto ko mag ano, nail art dito, eh. Mas plan, hindi makapag-nail art kaya, di ba? Sige, ma'am, post ka, mo no? later. <laughs> nail art. Oh, pakita ko lang din yung kutsara na ginamit ko, ha? This is yung kutsara na ginamit ko. It's very simple lang, no? Na-design pa nga siya, eh. So, I wanted yung maganda yung dulo niya. And, ito, medyo naka-concave ng konti yung likod. So, you don't really need a special device para makuha yung kuko. You just need a spoon with a good, ano, good uh, shape, good curve sa dulo. Ta-da! Okay. It's not really for mass production. Kasi matrabaho rin yung pal shape ng fingers. But it's some actually fun to do. So, pwede rin for the kids to do this. Kasi enjoy din siya. No? Actually, last night, nag enjoy ako sa paggawa nito. Uh, products natin for Halloween. Actually, I'm done. So, this one, uh, I, I'll recap na lang. Ano? The first recipe we did was yung uh, witch finger. Um... Uh, and that's using wooden spoon cake flour and wooden spoon, ay, wooden spoon, <laughs> wooden spoon bread flour, sorry. The Sun Moon Star bread flour. Uh, I combined both. So if you want, you can do, go with all-purpose flour. You can actually go with pure bread flour. I wanted the combination because I wanted to get the similar protein content of all-purpose flour. But the advantage of this is much cheaper yung cost niya. Because bread flour is cheaper than the all-purpose flour. No, and the cake flour. So, pag kinumbine natin sila, you'll get a little bit less of the, ano, less of the cost of the flour. Um, I did creaming method. So, ang creaming method po, FYI again, is you mix first your fat and sugar. But of course, what I did is fat, sugar, 
Ang path ko kanina for the for the witch finger <coughs> is yung refrigerated margarine. So you don't really need butter, but if you want butter, mas masarap. Definitely mas masarap pag butter siya. But since uh, I don't really need that buttery taste for this one, hindi mo naman expect that it's really buttery. Uh, so you can use margarine na lang for that one. And you can add flavorings. Um, there is no limit on the coloring, syempre. <laughs> I just chose brown kasi yun yung medyo deadly. Yung deadly. If you want green, I don't mind if you want to use green. Well, as long as you're happy. Um, for the red velvet naman, I also did creaming method. So again, nauna na naman yung fat and sugar. And then I added the eggs. And then I alternated the dry and the liquid ingredients. And finally, I combined yung baking soda and the vinegar before I added it in. So ayun po. That's already the recap I have. And... Lalo na natin masyadong ko eh. Ano, no? Question? Okay. I think wala na masyadong no. question about it. So, Hi. I hope you enjoyed. Wala. <laughs> Creepy and yet satisfying. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Reina. Um, that's it, no? Do you have anything else, Bert, on the plate? I think we're done here. Wala pa, wala na ako nakikita ng question eh. I was going to give a little more time for the questions. Yeah. Ah. O, oh, sige, um, meron isa pang question dito. Probably before we close up. Wag po Don't forget the There's feedback one... form na lang po. Okay. Saka, ilapit ko nga yung isang cupcake. Tara! Can you see? Kita ba, Bert? The cream is not that smooth, but you still get the eye, eye look. This one is maganda yun sa kapapay ng cream. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Lapit so that's, it. <laughs> that's it. Um, I think we've answered all questions. Mukhang naubos na lahat ng mga tanong ng mga students. Uh, watch us again next week. I think we have, uh, we invited another one from the baking industry. That's uh, for next week. And then, mm -hmm. I hope you also, ano, uh, I would like to support then yung, uh, our, or, yung organization namin on the baking industry is the Philippines. That's Project it, ma'am. Uh, they also do live demos Saturdays, no, um, dun sa Philippine Society of Baking na page. I'm going to promote it and I'm also be doing a demo for them on November 7. So I hope you can join us there. I'm still finalizing a recipe to put in. Can you suggest ano kaya maganda yung recipe? What do you think would be good for demonstration? Kasi parang napakarami nang nade-demo. So, nauubos na nga yung uh, time ko to think na ano pa ba ang kailangan i-demo because I see ang dami nang ang dami nang nagde-demo ng recipes. Uh, so, what do you think? Do you have any idea? Ano ba maganda? Can you type in anong, anong recipe ang gusto niyo matutunan? So I have enough to choose. Do you have any ideas? Okay nga. Waiting ako sa comment eh. Can you comment ano pa ang recipe ang gusto niyo matutunan? So we can show it. Maybe ano, no? Revel bar. Pasta noodles. <laughs> Hi, Adi. <laughs> Ayan. Pies. So, sige, I'll think about that. Pasta noodles, pies. Pwede, no? Para something, you know, cream puffs. Oy, that's a good idea also. No bake cakes. Um, although gusto ko gawin yung no bake cakes, medyo, <laughs> um, konti lang yung flour, kaya... <laughs> 
donuts, why not? No, something uh, maybe another type of design for the donut, or maybe cake donut, no? Parang more on yeast raised donuts yung nakikita ko, but the cake donuts parang ko konti lang or I haven't seen much of their cake donuts. Cookies lengua de gato, oh, pwede. Lengua de gato, why not? No? Sige, pag message empanada do pwede. Yan, I also love empanada. Ah. Hello. Oh, I think <laughs> parang nawala si ano si Chef Bert. Choco butter na. Ayun, cake donut. Okay, um please don't forget ta uh, yung uh, feedback form. Remember we have we we need the feedback form because we want to improve continuous pong improvement ng clinic. Uh for us nga feedback is a gift. So kahit negative yan we don't mind. Kahit sabihin niyo ang pangit naman ni Chef, we don't mind so that I will improve myself as well. So any negative comments will be uh will be uh will not be used against you no. It will be more on it's actually helping us. And of course may gift na naman nakapalit yon. Okay, and uh, well, as Chef Bert, so I think in behalf of uh, Pilmico Foods Corporation, uh, from the makers of Sun Moon Star, uh, Sun Moon Star Bread Flour, Kotita Bread Flour, Wooden Spoon Cake Flour, Wooden Spoon All Purpose Flour, Mega Star, um, and Silver 168, any more products namin. Uh, I would like to thank you again for joining us, and I hope you join us. Wag po kayo magsasawa, uh, join us again on our next demos. Goodbye and thank you all. <laughs>